Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Nirmal. In today's video, I'll be going over an optical disc authoring program called ImageBurn. When you run this program upon startup, it presents you with six options that it can do. In this video, we'll be going over the first four. Number one is creating an image file or ISO from your CD or DVD. This is useful when your disk has many files and folders, and it, this program will compress them all into one single ISO file, which can be very handy for backing up and storage. The second option is to write that ISO to a disk. So what you can do is back up your favorite disk to an ISO and then write or burn that ISO to a blank disk. What this will do is then create a like for like physical duplication of your favorite disk, which can come in handy if your original disk is ever lost or stolen or damaged. Number three is writing files and folders to a disk. This is useful, for instance, if you have a friend you'd like to share some files and folders with, but you don't want to put it on your thumb drive and give it to him for fear that it may be lost. Instead, a, disk, a single disk can be much cheaper than a USB thumb drive. And the other benefit is that once files have been written on a disk, it is very difficult to impossible to modify or erase them, unlike a flash drive. Usually it's permanent. And number four is creating an ISO from files and folders. Again, this is very convenient, much like creating a zip file, which you may be familiar with. You can take the many files and folders you have on your PC and then compress them all into one single file, which is convenient for, again, storage and backup, but also can easily be written to a blank disk when you wish. So next, let's go over to my Windows 10 PC. I'm going to install and run this program and show you how to do those four functions step by step. Okay, so to start things off, we're going to download and install the Image Burn software onto our Windows 10 PC. So I'm going to open up a web browser and navigate to www.ninite.com or ninite.com. And the reason why I recommend this website is because they include many popular apps and programs used on Windows 10 PCs and you're able to pick and choose which ones you'd like. And this website will bundle them all into one convenient installer and install them all at the same time. So this is very convenient because then you don't have to spend time going to each publisher's website, downloading their individual installer and installing them separately one by one. In addition, unfortunately, there are some websites which bundle malware or adware onto their installers. So, and all the apps on this website, Ninite, are free of those. So these are all clean installs and they don't include any additional bloatware or any unwanted software. So we're just gonna navigate and down here to the utilities section and I just wanna download one software, Image Burn. So I'll select that, scroll down. So you said download and run your custom installer slash updater and I'm gonna click here. So it's gonna download, it says what do you wanna do? And I wanna hit open. So my uh, browser, Microsoft Edge, believes that it might be a malware, but I'm gonna keep it because I know it's not. So the, soft, the installation process is gonna begin. So I'll hit yes. And this will just take a few moments. There we go, it's already finished. So it's already installed onto my computer. It's already made a icon on my desktop. And then we'll proceed further from here. Okay, so after I had downloaded and installed ImageBurn onto my Windows PC, I launched it by simply clicking on the ImageBurn icon that was placed on my desktop by the installer. So now the application is in front of me. And the first option we're going to go over today is create image file from file slash folders. Now there are multiple types of image files in existence, but the most popular one is an ISO file or ISO. So you may see me referring to image files as simply ISO files. So let's click on this option. So it needs a source of files and folders to create that ISO file. So for the purposes of this video, I've created a folder on my desktop called My ISO Files. When I double click, there's two folders, text files, Excel files. And in text files, there are three text files, test one, test two, test three. And then in the X Excel files folder, I've created three Excel spreadsheets, also called test one, test two, test three. 
So to add files or folders to ImageBurn, you simply have to uh, drag and drop onto this window here. And so now it needs a destination in which to create that ISO file, and I want to place it directly on the desktop. So I'll go to desktop, and I'm going to call it my custom ISO. And we're going to save it as an ISO file type and hit save. And then we just hit this button to build that ISO. So now it says you've selected only one folder. Would you like me to add just the contents of that my ISO files to the image? Otherwise, the my ISO files folder will be visible in the root directory. So I don't want this to be visible, so I'm going to hit yes. So it'll only include the files in here and it'll exclude this folder itself. So just hit yes here and I'll start building it. So that chime means that the process is complete and I'm going to hit OK. And you'll see on my desktop is created an ISO file and an MDS file. And th this file is not necessary, so I'm just going to delete this. And in Windows 10, when you double click on an ISO file, it'll automatically mount it onto your computer as a virtual CD or DVD. So see, it's already opened up Windows File Explorer. So in addition to my local C drive, now I have a virtual DVD drive. And then when I open this up, and you'll see, here are the two folders, and the files are all there. Everything is intact, just as it should be. So that's how you create an ISO file from your own files and folders using the Image Burn program. The next option we're going to go over today in the Image Burn program is create an image file from disk. So what this will do is create an ISO file from your own physical CD or DVD that you've inserted into your PC. Now my Windows 10 PC is an HP laptop that lacks a built-in DVD drive. So what I've done instead is I plugged in an external USB DVD drive and it's going to show up right here in Windows File Explorer. And in that drive, I placed a CD of the TurboTax 2020 software. And so we'll be generating an ISO file from this. When I open it in File Explorer, and you can see that it has multiple files and folders, and this will all be compressed into one single ISO file. So we'll just select this option. And I've verified that this is a source E drive. And you would select this if your PC has more than one DVD drive. And I want to place that ISO file on my desktop. And it'll simply be called TurboTax 2020 ISO file. Hit save. And then we'll just click this button to begin that process. So ImageBurn has finished completing that ISO file of my TurboTax 2020 CD. So it placed that ISO file on my desktop. All here in just one single file. And so once again, when I double click it, it'll open up automatically in Windows File Explorer as a virtual drive. So you'll see that the E drive is my physical drive and the D drive is the virtual drive and the content should be the exact same. When I hit open here, these are the files and folders of my physical CD. And then in D drive, the virtual drive, when I open it again, it has the exact same files and folders. So it's a like for like exact duplicate copy. So this is how you create an ISO file from your physical CD or DVD inserted into your PC. The next option of Image Burn I'll be showing you is how to write an image file to your blank CD or DVD. So in the previous video, I had created an image file from my TurboTax 2020 CD. So now, with that ISO created on my desktop, I will be writing this to a blank CD, thus creating a physical duplicate of my TurboTax 2020 CD, which will come in handy if my original disk is ever lost or damaged. When I go to File Explorer, you'll see my external DVD drive and inserted is a blank CDR, which I'll be writing that ISO file to. So we'll select that option. So I'll need to select an ISO file to write to the disk. So I'll go to my desktop and choose the TurboTax 2020 ISO I created earlier. And it's going to be writing to that E drive, which is right here. So I'll just click on this button to begin that writing process. Image Burn has successfully written my TurboTax 2020 ISO to my blank CDR. So I'll hit OK. Just minimize Image Burn. Let me go to File Explorer. And we'll see, so it's, the ISO has been burned. And then when I open it, you'll see that all the files and folders are here. So what I've done is I've created a physical duplicate of my TurboTax 2020, 
which will come in handy if I ever lose or damage my original disk. So that is how you write an ISO file. function of image burn that I'll be covering today is how to write your files and folders to a blank CD or DVD disk. Earlier in this video, I had gone over this option, how to create an ISO file from your own files and folders on your PC. And for this option, I had created this sample folder called my ISO files. Inside it contains two other folders, each folder having three files each. So it has a total of two folders and six files. When we look at how much space it takes up, it's only 24 kilobytes, which is a minuscule amount. So we'll hit OK. So now let's go to File Explorer. And you'll see that in my external DVD drive, I placed another blank CDR. And I'd removed the previous CDR where I had burned my TurboTax 2020 ISO. And so I have placed a fresh new disk just waiting to be written to. Let's go ahead and select this option. So Image Burn needs to know what files and folders are going to be written onto my disk. So I'll just drag and drop this folder here. And this uh, calculator icon is important because this will tell you if your blank disk has enough space to store whatever files folders you want to write onto it. So earlier I told you this only takes up 24 kilobytes and a blank CD is roughly 650 megabytes. So we can see you've only selected one folder. So yes, that's fine. I just want to see, just calculate these two folders. So I'll hit yes. You'll see it takes up not even 1%, it's 0%. So my CD has more than enough space to store those two fo uh, folders and six files. So once again, it's prompting me that I've only selected one folder and that's fine because I don't want this to be visible in the root directory of my CDR. So I'm just gonna hit yes and hit yes. So yep, yeah, it's just confirming. It's writing six files and two folders. So I hit OK and it'll begin the writing process. The writing process was successful. So now when I go to my Windows File Explorer, let's take a look at the disk now. When I open it, you'll see that all my files and folders are there. The three files in there and the three files in this folder. So it's successfully uh, written the two folders and six files. So. That is how you write your own files and folders to a blank CD or DVD. Thank you for watching my video on Image Burn. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And also, please hit the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel as I'll be creating more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching and have a great day.